Okay, so check, 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 check. <coughs> check, 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 Man, check, check. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We had trouble at uh, state basketball, and he, he came in, and we were going because I was on the radio, and he came in, and he was prompted up, and boom, we were, I mean, it wasn't five minutes, we were rolling. That's crazy. Yeah, that. it is. It's amazing.
check, 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 check. Okay. Yeah, we'll go live online at 58. And if I'm getting too hot up here, if I'm hitting the red, just tap me, it was like consistently. Just tap me and I can turn myself down, so. What do you want? You want to go on air at 58? Yeah, at 58 we'll go and I'll just kind of introduce. And then right when we go on air, you want me to go straight to this? Um, we, we come here with this and then just sit and wait on this until we're ready for the first race. And then once we hit that first race, then then you, you submit to that. So, And then if we ever go to a break, like it, when we're in between events, when we're going from here to here, pop back to this. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the VMAC in Thornton, Colorado. It's time for the swimmers to get their feet wet here in the preliminaries at 4A State Swimming. I'm Bib Black. I'm very glad you have joined us on Chassa.tv for this event here today. We're going to see 11 events in the preliminaries here at the Colorado High School Activities Association Swimming and Diving State Championships. We'll first see the men's 200-yard medley relay Four heats of preliminary action followed by the men's 200-yard freestyle with six heats of preliminary action. That'll be followed up by the men's 200-yard individual medley. We're going to have four heats of preliminary action on that. Our fourth event of the day will be the men's 50-yard freestyle. Four heats of preliminary action on that as well. Event six of the day as event five will take place tomorrow morning. That is the one-meter diving preliminaries. Event six will follow the 50-yard freestyle. That's the 100-yard butterfly. And we will see five heats of preliminary action on that. Event seven of the day will be men's 100-yard freestyle with six preliminary heats. Event eight is the men's 500-yard freestyle, which is four preliminary heats. And we will wrap up our day with the men's 200-yard freestyle relay. Four heats on that. The 100-yard backstroke with five preliminary heats on that. The 100-yard breaststroke with four preliminary heats. And the 400-yard freestyle 
relay here at the Class 4A State Swimming and Diving Championships. A lot of great action that we're going to see here today. One we're very excited to see comes out of De Evelyn High School. Jeff Garnier is uh, ho already holds the 4A state record and is only with his qualifying time this year about a second and a half off of the Colorado State record for the men's 200-yard freestyle. He is Stanford bound, but there's a lot of other great athletes that are going to be taking to the pool here today at the Veterans Memorial Aquatic Center in Thornton for some of the final state champions of this season. We're now just about set for the start of the Class 4A State Swimming and Diving Preliminaries here at the VMAC in Thornton. I'm Ben Blecka, Jacob on camera, James running our computer here today. And thank you, as you're just a big part watching on Chasta.tv, as uh, we are being a part of this broadcast. It's all about the swimmers, and we're going to kick things off here today with the men's 200-yard medley relay. The... 4A state record was set in 1999 by Mullen High School at a time of 1 minute 34.69 seconds. Mullen will uh, likely, it looks like, hold, continue to hold that record unless somebody has something uh, pretty spectacular. The best team with a qualifying time coming into the Class 4A men's 200-yard medley relay will be in Heat 4. That is Cheyenne Mountain, who posted a time of 1 minute 38 seconds and uh, 14 one hundredths. Uh, another team to keep an eye on will be the team in Air Academy out of Heat 3. They posted a time of 1 minute 39.66 seconds. In Heat 2, the top team will be Montrose, who posted a time of 1 minute 39.85 se uh, seconds. And Heat 1 will uh, be starting it here today. 
And uh, all these teams look pretty evenly matched, and we may see a pretty good start in the heat of this one when we get underway here at the BMAC in Thornton. Thirty-two total teams coming to the Chassa Boys Swimming and Diving State Championships here in Class 4A. Class 5A is being held up at Epic in Fort Collins. That is also being covered on Chassa.tv. to me like they're getting the equipment set on the far side of the pool. The reason for the delay on the start of this is we were slated to go just at the top of the hour. It looks like they're having trouble with one of the sensors along the wall. As our first heat for these preliminaries will feature just a five-team race. Sixteen total teams will qualify for the finals tomorrow. They'll run the semifinals and the finals. As the swimmers for heat number one here in the medley relay will be introduced here. And uh, heat one will consist in lane three of the team from Wasson High School. They qualified with a seating time of one minute, 56.70 seconds. Wheat Ridge will swim in this preliminary heat number one. Out of lane four, they qualified with a time of one minute, 55.71 seconds. Moffat County will be swimming in lane five with a qualifying time of one minute, 55.31 seconds. Pueblo Central will be out of heat six today, and they qualified with a time of one minute and 55.50 seconds. And the final will be in heat se in lane seven. Harrison with a time of one minute, 55.90 seconds. Best time coming into this preliminaries will come out of lane number five as the swimmers are off and underway. At the turn, it looks to me like lane six holds the lead. That is the team from Pueblo Central, although it is a close heat. And the great turn in the near lane by the team from Wasson High School looks to me like they will hit the wall first and the second swimmer is in the pool. Dead heat for second and third between Moffat County and Pueblo Central. And a good get-in in, in uh, lane five for Moffat County as uh, he will get to the wall first in spite of being what looked to me about a second late getting into the pool compared to the swimmer in lane number three. And that good get-in here in this second one showing that good transition will put Moffat County in the lead as it, two swimmers hit the wall in lane five. Moffat County is the first into the pool for their third swimmer. Second in the pool comes out of lane six. Pueblo Central Wasson in the near lane in lane three is in third. And Moffat County is running away with this a good three body lengths on the second closest competitor as they get in to the pool for their final swimmer. Good get in on lane six for Pueblo Central trying to catch up. Lane seven, uh, Harrison is slow and steady trying to finish in second in this heat. Our final swimmer, or our final press to the lane. Moffat County is being pushed hard in lane four by Wheat Ridge and in lane six by Pueblo Central, but the team from Moffat County is going to finish with a time of one minute and 54.19 seconds. Second place official tally will go to the team in lane four from Wheat Ridge at 1 
55-78 and just seven one hundredths of a second behind that. Wasson will finish in third at 8-5. 157.85, their final time. to get all of those officially taken care of. Lane 6 and the team from Pueblo Central finished with a time of 1 minute 56.91 seconds. And Lane 7 for the team from Harrison, 1 minute 57.21 seconds. So Moffat County posting a very good time. We'll see if that holds up to be one of the top 16 to qualify into the semifinals and final tomorrow. Our next group will be Heat 2 and these preliminary rounds and we're going to see a full full pool for this one. Estes Park will be in lane 2. They qualified with a time of 1 minute 50.67 50 seconds. Lane 3 will be the Cyclones. They qualified with a time of 1 minute 47.83 seconds. Discovery Canyon will swim out of lane four here in the second heat. One minute, 43.51 seconds, their qualifying time. Montrose, a very good time here. Team to watch in this one at one minute, 39.85 seconds. They'll swim out of lane five. Lane six will be Coronado, one minute, 42.79 seconds. Longmont will swim out of lane seven at one minute, 45.88 seconds. Pueblo East will swim out of lane eight at one minute, 48 Point seven eight seconds and Pueblo Centennial will swim in lane nine their qualifying time at one minute and 55.04 seconds time to beat right now is that set by Moffat County as they posted the time of one minute 54.19 seconds in the previous Preliminary. Swimmers in the pool and we're set to get underway for this second preliminary round. And we're underway here with a good get out by lanes three and four. Six also got a good get. That is the Cyclones, Discovery Cannon, and Coronado. And at the first turn, we see a very good turn by Coronado. They will hold the lead, although a slight one after the turn. It's neck and neck here as the Cyclones will come into the pool second behind Coronado by about a half length. And a great get in in lane four by Discovery Canyon has put them in play here on the second go through. Coronado still holds the lead, although a, not a very good turn for them. Cost them about a half second there. Still hold the lead by a full body length over Discovery Canyon. Coronado in the lead as the third swimmer enters the pool. Discovery Canyon second and the Cyclones and Montrose neck and neck for third. <laughs> neck and neck out in the lead. So the third swimmers come to the wall to put the final ones in play. Coronado and Discovery Canyon. Coronado in the top part in lane six and in lane four. The lead is taken by Discovery Canyon as they get into the pool for the final set of swimmers. Good splits being posted by the Discovery Canyon and Coronado numbers, but it looks out of lane four like Discovery Canyon is going to take this preliminary heat number two. Their final time, one minute, 40.56 seconds. Coming in in second place was Longmont at one minute, 43.70 seconds, and Coronado finishing third at one minute, 44.22 seconds. Montrose posting a very good time. Makes you wonder what happened in lane six. Coronado led the majority of the way to third place. 
at 1 minute and 44.22 seconds. Heat three, we will see Glenwood Springs, Pueblo South, De Evelyn Air Academy, Thompson Valley, Durango, Windsor, and Thomas Jefferson. The swimmers come out. The team to watch in this one is Air Academy in lane five, posting a time of 1 minute 39.66 seconds. They will be pushed by Thompson Valley, who is in six as the swimmers are in. And set for heat three of the 200 medley relay here at the Class 4A Boys Swimming State Championships. Good push out in the center two lanes, lanes four and five. Devlin and Air Academy. Actually five and six, pardon me, with a very good push. And the first swimmer into the pool is Thompson Valley out of lane number six. But a good get in as he came up early by Air Academy, and it looks like Air Academy in lane five is going to be first to the wall here in the second swimmer. Neck and neck between Air Academy and Thompson Valley's relay teams. Good kick off the wall. Will allow Air Academy to take to the pool first. In third place, out of lane two, is the Glenwood Springs team or out of lane three, pardon me, that is Pueblo South. Air Academy, a full body and a half ahead of the rest of the field as the fourth swimmer enters the pool. Second in is Thompson Valley. Air Academy is posting some pretty impressive splits right now out of lane six. Best split, or out of lane five. They put up a 22-second split on their third swimmer, and they're going to absolutely crush the competition out of lane five. Air Academy posts a time of 1 minute 38.31 seconds to win heat number three. Second place will go in a tie to De Evelyn and Thompson Valley, who both posted 1 minute 40.89 seconds. It's to me like Durango's time may have been disqualified as they are taken off the board. Very good times for that heat. Air Academy has put themselves in the top 16. And we hit heat number four for the preliminaries, our final heat here in the 200-yard medley relay. Really Central will be in lane two, Green Mountain in lane three, Broomfield in lane four, Cheyenne Mountain in lane five, Silver Creek in lane six, Conifer in lane seven, Mountain View in lane eight, and Valley in lane nine. Cheyenne Mountain, the team to watch. They posted a seed time of one minute, 38.14 seconds. They'll be pushed by Silver Creek, who posted a seed time of one minute, 41.87 seconds. Air Academy was the favorite in the previous heat and they bested their seed time by 1.3 seconds and the swimmers take to the pool for our final heat here in the 200 yard medley relay the men's 200 yard freestyle will be coming up next No swimmer in lane seven, so Conifer will not be taking to the pool here in this one. 
And to the wall first, as expected, is Cheyenne Mountain. Although a great turn off the wall by the Mountain View swimmer and Mountain View in lane eight at the top of your screen is into the pool first. Four teams within a half body length of one another. Mountain View in lane eight. Silver Creek in lane six. Cheyenne Mountain in lane five and Broomfield in lane four. A great turn in lane five for the Cheyenne Mountain team. And they look to be the team that will have their swimmer into the pool first for swimmer number three in this relay. Second into the pool out of lane six was Silver Creek. Great turn with a full body's length lead on the second closest competitor, Cheyenne Mountain in lane five. Silver Creek is getting a nice push by Broomfield in lane four. Broomfield into the pool third. Those are your top three teams as the final swimmers go here. He splits about a three quarters of a second off from the previous pool, but a great time out of lane five for Cheyenne Mountain as their swimmer will hit the wall at one minute, 38.39 seconds, eight one hundredths of a second behind Tom, uh, Air Academy but good enough to qualify them for action tomorrow. Second place in this pool will go to Silver Creek at 1 minute 41.41 seconds. And third place will fall to Broomfield at 1 minute 42.66 seconds. Times are being pulled off the board faster than I can write them down. I can tell you Cheyenne Mountain, Silver Creek, and Broomfield all qualifying for tomorrow. Devlin Air Academy, Thompson Valley, Montrose, Coronado, Longmont. I would guess the top eight and again I'm going off of guessing here Air Academy Cheyenne Mountain will be the top two coming in and now we move to event number two here at the 4A State Swimming Meet at the VMAC in Thornton the men's 200 yard freestyle heat one will feature just three swimmers we have six total preliminaries and Mountain View it will swim in lane four Sean Kemper Aaron Viberg from Broomfield in lane five and John Kirk from Moffat County in lane six and the three swimmers are in the pool. And at the turn, swimmer in lane five, Aaron Viberg from Broomfield has the lead, although these three are neck and neck. Quarter away through the race, all three swimmers within a half body's length of one another. Posting splits of about 27 seconds apiece. And at the halfway point of the race, Maybe a split second difference between John Kirk of Moffat County in lane six and Aaron Viberg of Broomfield. They continue to push. Three one hundredths of a second differentiated Viberg in lane five and Kirk in lane six from one another at the turn as they enter the final push here in the men's 200 yard freestyle, the first preliminary heat. We will have six. Neck and neck, Viberg from Broomfield. 
will be outdone, outstretched at the wall by John Kirk from Moffat County, who finishes with a time of two minutes, .29 seconds. Second place will go to Viberg at two minutes and .42 seconds. 2.06.96 is Sean Kemper's time from Mountain View. Heat number two, we will see six swimmers starting in lane three. Dolan Buckingham from Wasson. Evan Kay in lane four from Coronado. Eric Lundquist from Air Academy in lane five. Luke Ebling from Green Mountain in lane six. Nick Reich from Broomfield will be in lane seven. Also from Broomfield, John Talarchio will be in lane eight. The swimmer to watch with the best time is in lane five, Eric Lundquist, one minute, 58.64 seconds. After a quarter of the way, one time through the pool in lane five, the lead is held by Eric Lindquist from Air Academy. He's got about a full body's lead on the closest competitors. He is being pushed by Evan Kay from Coronado in lane four and Luke Ebling from Green Mountain in lane six. And at half the halfway point of the race, the lead maintains for Eric Lundquist in lane five. Lundquist split times, losing almost a full second on that go around. But he still maintains a full body's lead on everyone else. A great push coming out of lane three by Dolan Buckingham from Wasson. He looks to be in second place right now. Top 16 qualify for the action tomorrow. He just read those over the loudspeaker for the 200-yard medley relay. Montrose, Longmont, De Evelyn, Air Academy, Thompson Valley, Broomfield, Cheyenne Mountain, and Silver Creek make up the top eight in that. We come down to the final here in Heat 2 of Event 2, the men's 200-yard freestyle. The final time for Eric Lundquist in lane 5 will be 1 minute 56.19 seconds. Second place in this heat will go in lane 4 to Evan K at 1 minute 58.68. Actually, lane 3, Dolan Buckingham. By one or by four one hundredths of a second at one minute fifty eight point six four seconds will qualify or will will finish third and hope to qualify. Still have four more heats to go here at the Class Four A Boys Swimming and Diving State Championships preliminary heats on this Friday. Here in heat number three, Mensadeth from Greeley Central in lane two. Israel Taylor from Cheyenne Mountain in lane three. Stuart Zweischer in lane four. He's from Wasson. Kyle Bunker from Longmont in lane five. Jacob Epstein from Thomas Jefferson in lane six. Ben Martinez from Air Academy in lane seven. Peter Zeal from Silver Creek will be in lane eight. And Cameron Romo from Thompson Valley in lane nine. Swimmers take to their mark. The time to beat currently is that set by Eric Lundquist of 1 minute 56.19 seconds. Best swimmer entering into the pool in this. Got a really good middle part of this pool. The best qualifying time in lane 5 from Longmont. Kyle Bunker, 1 minute and 57.42 seconds. But the first turn to the wall is Stuart Zeischer in lane 4. Zeischer from Wasson. Posting a very good first go down the pool. And on the first lap of the pool, he will post a time of 26 or 25.72 seconds for the lead. The 
He'll continue to lead, although he's being pushed heavily in lane three by Israel Taylor from Cheyenne Mountain. He'll be second at this halfway point. The two separated by just 11 one hundredths of a second. Sewers Weisher still with the lead. In lane four, Taylor in lane three, right by him. Every turn is going to be important. They were separated that time by 13 one hundredths of a second, one time down the pool. Zweischer and Taylor neck and neck. And the time, the lead is taken by Israel Taylor from Cheyenne Mountain with a split of 29.85 seconds. He holds the lead as we enter the final lap, but a great turn out of lane four by Stuart Zweischer. Zweischer turns and hits the wall first. A good push coming from Kyle Bunker in lane five out of Longmont. He's on the heels and up in lane nine, Cameron Romo. Looks like he's going to finish fourth, but the final time, the heat will be won by Stuart Zweischer from Wasson with a time of one minute and 54.30 seconds. Second by just 17 one hundredths of a second, Israel Taylor. 154.30. Third place will go all the way up in lane nine to Cameron Romo with 155.73. And uh, lane five, good time for Kyle Bunker as well. One minute, 56.40 seconds. So those four are all crushing the previous best time set by Eric Lundquist. The new time to beat held by Stuart Zweischer from Wasson. Heat four will feature... Tori Haas from Thompson Valley in lane two. Derek Sloan from Montrose in lane three. Dustin Wall from Cheyenne Mountain in lane four. Tony Huff from Longmont in lane five. He's the one to watch. One minute, 44.93 seconds. Jesse Rubenstein from Durango in six. Jordan Butler from Conifer in seven. Jonathan Sheldon from Thompson Valley in lane eight. And Max Erickson from Durango in lane nine. Keep a close eye on Tony Huff, who enters into the pool in lane five. He gets down the pool and has the lead. But he's offline as he comes toward the wall for his first full turn. 23.84 second split for him. Second place held up in lane three by Derek Sloan at that first turn and uh, Tony Huff is distancing himself halfway through 50.14 seconds in lane five he is a good two and a half body lengths on everybody else it looks like the swimmer in lane seven Jordan Butler from Conifer has been able to push his way through as Huff is absolutely obliterating the competition right now at the turn heading into the final lap one minute and 17.64 seconds he makes his final turn second place continues with Jordan Butler it'll be neck and neck for a third but Huff will come to the wall and he'll post a final time of 1 minute and 45.51 seconds. Besting the previous best time by 9.5 seconds. Second place out of lane 7, Jordan Butler with 1 minute 47.31. Every time beat our previous best with the exception of the outer two lanes. So, Sloan, Wall, Huff, Rubenstein, Butler, and Sheldon all right now holding the lead. The top six times. We could see many of those names in the top ones tomorrow. Heat five now as uh, Clay Zentmeyer from Montrose will take lane two. Jack 
Dangramond from Air Academy will take lane three. Brian Ro Ross Mannon from Coronado will take lane four. Martin Wallace from Broomfield will take lane five. Kostia Callahan from Montrose will take lane six. Jack Cassidy from Glenwood will take lane seven. Travis Vanderveer from Coronado in eight. And Anthony Yangnon from Mountain View in lane nine. Best time is Martin Wallace out of lane five coming in with a time of one minute, 42.69 seconds. And we're seeing a neck-and-neck neck battle at the first turn between Wallace and Kostya Callahan from Montrose. And the first split at 24.35 seconds will go to Martin Wallace from Broomfield, but Callahan behind him by a mere 16 one-hundredths of a second. Here in Heat 5, Lead being pulled away as we near the halfway point by Martin Wallace. Wallace out of lane five, hits the wall at a time of 50.90 seconds. He's a full 1.1 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Derek Sloan and Jesse Rubenstein battling it out for second right now. It's in lane three and lane six. Wallace out of lane five will begin his final turn at 1 minute 17.19 seconds. Previous time to beat. That's set just by Tony Huff at 1 minute 45.51 seconds. And it's going to be close as Martin Wallace from Broomfield will come toward the wall. He'll hit the wall and have the best time in these preliminary heats at 1 minute and 43.77 seconds. Second place out of this heat will go to Kustio Callahan at 1 minute 48.41 seconds. And uh, third place will be tallied in lane 7 by Jack Cassidy at 1 minute and 50.61 seconds. Final heat here in the preliminaries of the men's 200-yard freestyle. Heat 6 will feature Jerry Hills from Discovery Canyon in lane 2. Daniel Liu from Discovery Canyon in lane 3. Grant Knorr from Cheyenne Mountain in lane 4. Jeff Garnier from De Evelyn in lane 5. Josh Graber from De Evelyn in lane 6. In lane 7, Brennan Mays from Air Academy. Carl Sally from Durango 8, lane 8. And Toby Malarkey from De Evelyn in lane 9. The swimmer to watch, we mentioned him, he holds the Class 4A state record. Jeff Garnier, uh, Garnier from De Evelyn, the senior, will be in lane 5, posting a qualifying time of 1 minute and 39.06 seconds. And the swimmers are in for our final heat. Our next event will be the men's 200-yard individual medley. First turn it just shy of 11 seconds by Garnier. And Garnier will hit the wall at 22.67 seconds, followed closely by his teammate Josh Graber. Posted the second best time in this heat coming in. Garnier as he approaches the halfway point. Will hit the turn at 47.31 seconds. He maintains the pace. He is on pace to break the Class 4A and Colorado State records. Finish strong here. He hits the wall at 112.21. The state record in the men's 200-yard freestyle is 1 minute 37.42 seconds. He hits the final wall. And Garnier 
approaching. 1 minute 35, 1 minute 36, 1 minute 37.67. He was 25 one hundredths of a second off of the state record for Colorado, but did set the Class 4A state record, breaking his previous best by nearly 8, ten eight tenths of a second. Jeff Garnier, Stanford bound, will head to the finals, qualified in first place. Second place went to his teammate Josh Graber from De Evelyn at 1 minute and 44.19 seconds. That makes me very excited for the men's 200-yard freestyle tomorrow as uh, he finds that extra bit in the championship. He could push for the state record. He only missed the state record by a quarter of a second here in the preliminary round. Heat 6, Class 4A State Swimming and Diving Championships. Our next event will be the men's 200-yard individual medley. We will have four preliminary heats here, and the first swimmers in the pool, just three of them, Ben Essels from Coronado is swimming in lane four, Devin Allison from Coronado is swimming in lane five, and Sam Henahan from Broomfield is in lane six. At the first turn here in the 200-yard individual medley, the lead will go to Sam Ennan from Broomfield at a time of 27.22 seconds. And he'll maintain the lead, Will Hanahan, from Broomfield at 1 minute, 2.38 seconds. As he begins his third go down the pool. But at the turn... As we finish the third time, the lead has been overtaken by Ben Essels from Coronado. In lane four, the near lane on your video screen. Good push on the breaststroke. He'll turn. The final freestyle lap here and the lead at 1 minute 41.70 seconds now held by Ben Essels from Coronado. He makes a nice turn at the wall and he's going to take this first preliminary heat. Barring a severe misstep. And set the time to beat in this event. At the time of 2 minutes and 12.89 seconds, besting his seed time by 2.5 seconds. Our second heat of men's 200-yard individual medley will feature... A full pool. Austin Miller will be in lane two from Durango. Austin Ward from Discovery Canyon in lane three. Ben Holland from Conifer in lane four. Lewis Geist from Mullen in lane five. Tyler Liz from Silver Creek in lane six. Eric Hale from Cheyenne Mountain in lane seven. Gunnar Van Gent from Silver Creek in lane eight. And Alex Austin from Thompson Valley in lane nine. The swimmer to watch is Lewis Geist from Mullen in lane five. He posted a seat time of one minute. 59.73 seconds. Time to beat is Ben Essels. So swimmers take to the pool for our second men's 200-yard individual medley. And at the first turn, the lead in lane six 
for Tyler Luce from Silver Creek. He holds the lead by about a half second. Second place at the turn was Luce Geist from Mullen. It looks like Geist has taken the lead on the backstroke lap here of the individual medley. Halfway through the turn, still maintained in lane six by Tyler Liz, by a mere two-tenths of a second. Good turn by Lewis Geist as he's taken the lead here on lap three of the men's 200-yard individual medley, heat two of the preliminary round. And Geist will hold the lead at 1 minute 30.16 seconds. And overtaking second place in lane four is Ben Holland from Conifer. Final push, the win in heat number two. We'll go to Lewis Geist from Mullen. His final time will be one minute and 57.53 seconds. Second place going in lane four to Ben Holland at one minute 59.77 seconds. Third place will go to Tyler Liz from Silver Creek. Two minutes, 1.62 seconds. All posting top times right now here at the VMAC in Thornton. We'll head to heat three of the preliminary men's 200-yard individual medley and have a full pool once again. Lane two out of Durango, Joshua Miller. Lane three out of Devlin, Daniel Graber. Lane four out of Silver Creek, Chase Liss. Lane five, Connor Dwyer from Longmont. Lane six, Max Bryant from Glenwood. Lane seven, Jake Sparboro from Devlin. Lane eight, Jacob Vanderliff from Thompson Valley. And lane nine, Joe Duffy from Green Mountain. The swimmer to watch, Connor Dwyer from Longmont posting a time of one minute and 58.03 seconds. The time to beat Lewis Geist, who just put 157.53 on the board. And the swimmers will take to the pool and our third heat. At the first turn, the lead held in lane five by Connor Dwyer from Longmont. Although he's being pushed in lane six by Max Bryant, I believe that is. No, that's lane seven, pardon me. Jake. Barbaro from De Evelyn is pushing him. Nice turn by Chase Lewis from Silver Creek, the junior. Looks like he's pushed himself, in, himself into second place. We'll see if this turn. And at the turn, the lead is maintained by Connor Dwyer in lane 5, 56.01 seconds. Followed closely by the two lanes around him. to the wall for his final lap. <clears throat> the lead maintained by Dwyer. One minute, 29.35 seconds. He holds a two and a half second lead on the rest of the field. He'll hit that final turn. Time to beat. 157.53. Not going to get that, but he should get himself a qualifying time as he'll hit the wall at 1 minute 59.73 seconds, Connor Dwyer. 1.7 seconds behind his seed time. 
but still should be good enough to get him into the action tomorrow. One more heat to go here in the Class 4A men's 200-yard individual medley prelims. Patrick Ryan from Greeley Central will be in lane two. Kyle Allison from Coronado in lane three. Andrew Scott from Windsor in lane four. Michael Bernoski from Montrose in lane five. The swimmer to watch posting a seed time of 157.76. Justin Dearden from Air Academy will be in six. Kevin Olson from Devlin in lane seven. Danny Notariani from Mullen in lane eight. And John Sassolino from Wheatridge in lane nine. Our next event will be the men's 50-yard freestyle. This is the final heat of the men's 200-yard IM. Time to beat remains 157-53 here in the preliminaries. And at the first turn, the lead here in our final heat with Michael Bernowski from Montrose at 25.02. Followed closely at 25.08 by Justin Dearden from Air Academy up in lane six. Nice turn out of lane seven as well by Kevin Olson from De Evelyn has made this a three-man race. Fifty-four fifty-six. The time held, although not a very good turn by Marnoski. He maintains the lead. It's a nice turn on this go around to hold the lead. As we approach the final. It begins final lap at 128.01, holding a two-second lead on the rest of the field. Arnoski in lane five from Montrose. We'll take this final heat. Second place will go to Justin Dearden from Air Academy. It looks like third will go to Kevin Olson from De Evelyn. The final time for Bernoski is 156.63. That is good enough for the best time in the preliminary rounds. Second place will go in lane six to Justin Dearden at That'll wrap up the men's 200-yard individual medley. We will now see four heats of preliminary action in the men's 50-yard freestyle. One time down and back. State record is 20.16 seconds. Set back in 1990, the 4A state record, 21.05. Our first heat in this 50-yard freestyle will be Brett Gentile from Cheyenne Mountain in lane two, Nick Reba from Valley in lane three, Jeffrey Brunswick from Thompson Valley in lane four, Kip Byerly from Air Academy in lane five, Nick Fawcett from Devlin in lane six, Cordis Hall from Broomfield in lane seven, and Colby White from Durango in lane eight. As the swimmers were never told to take the deck and were introduced I'll now take the stand for the first heat in the preliminaries of the men's 50-yard freestyle. And they're in the pool for this first one. Fastest half minute in swimming. At the turn in lane six. Looks like Fawcett holds the lead, but they're neck and neck. Great turn by Gentile from Cheyenne Mountain in the near lane. And the win will go to lane six at 23.12 seconds. Nick Fawcett.
setting the time to beat second place in this race. We'll go in lane five to Kip Barley from Air Academy at 23.48. Twenty-three five nine by Jeffrey Brunswick will finish third. Heat number two of the men's 50-yard freestyle. We'll see Gabriel Di Domenico from the Cyclones in lane two. Three will be Noah Dwyan from Thompson Valley. Four will be Chris Kerr from Broomfield. Five will be Jonathan Little from Cheyenne Mountain. Six will be Luke Roberts from Discovery Canyon. Seven will be Large Nuts and from Montrose. Eight will be Parker Sorensen from Wheat Ridge. And nine will be Garrett Mills from Air Academy. Time to beat 23-1-2, set by Nick Fawcett. Swimmers will take to their board. And take to the pool. Turn lead in lane six by Luke Robert from Discovery Canyon, but a great turn out of lane five, but Jonathan Little's got a great kick, and it looks like he's got the lead to the wall. Littles will take the race at 21-7-2. 65 one hundredths off the 4A state record. Second place out of lane six, 13 one hundred seconds off. Luke Robert from Discovery Canyon. And third place would go to lane three, Noah Dwyan from Thompson Valley at 22.52. So the time to beat is 21.72. As we take heat three out here, Carter Gulsig from Wheat Ridge will be in lane two. David Keller from Discovery Canyon in lane three. Eric Albers from Coronado in lane four. Danny Kay from Coronado in lane five. Steve Peak from Coronado in lane six, Chris Wickware from Mullen in lane seven, Matt Meyer from the Cyclones in lane eight, and Andrew Essels from Coronado in lane nine. Time best in this is Danny Kay from Coronado at 21.89. As the swimmers take to their marks. And they take to the pool. Off the dive, the lead held by Eric Albers from Coronado. The Coronado swimmers neck and neck in lane four and five. Albers and Kay. Albers the near swimmer. And a great push by lane seven. And this is going to be a good push. The winner comes out of lane six. That is Steve Peak, 22.03, second place is Danny Kay from Coronado, 22.04, and third place is Eric Albers from Coronado, 22.05. I'd love to watch those three practice together. Good night, three 100 seconds separate the top three. Best time still, Jonathan Littles from Cheyenne Mountain at 21.72 here in the preliminaries. Our final heat here in the 50-yard freestyle. Jacob Moore from Green Mountain will be in lane two. Lane three will be Alex Schleesman from Gunnison. Lane four, Hunter Dorr from Air Academy. Lane five, Forrest Beasley from Estes Park. Lane six, Mitch Kilgore from Conifer. Lane seven, Cody Hoyes from Silver Creek. Lane eight, Ryan Kurtz from Windsor. And lane nine, Clark, Brandon Clark from Wheat Ridge. Best swimmer coming in is Forrest Beasley in lane five from Estes Park, 21.78. Our next event will be the men's 100-yard butterfly. As the swimmers take to the pool. A good in in lane six for Kilgore, and he's to the wall first. Kilgore still holding the slight edge. Forrest Beasley pushing him, but Kilgore takes the heat 21-88 for our second best time. Second place in this heat. In lane five to Forrest Beasley, 22-11, and third place will be Hunter Dorr at 22-21. So that will wrap up our event number four. 
And we are set to take a break here at the VMAC in Thornton on Chassa.tv. We've already seen a state record nearly broken today. And uh, they'll take a break. And when we come back, our next event will be the men's 100-yard butterfly.
at the VMAC in Thornton. This is the Class 4A Swimming and Diving State Championships. We're back after the 15-minute intermission, and our first event out of the intermission is event number six of the day. It's the men's 100-yard butterfly. There will be five preliminary heats of this. Our first heat will feature five swimmers, Luke Ebling from Green Mountain in lane three, Tanner T uh, Tucker, pardon me, Dangermond from Air Academy in lane four, Isaac Gallardo from Pueblo East in lane five, Luke Holmes from Estes Park in six, and Gion Yu from Pueblo East in lane seven. Best time is Gallardo in lane five, one minute, .97 seconds. The swimmers take to the pool for this 100-yard butterfly. And at the first turn, the lead in lane six is held by Luke Holmes from Estes Park. Holmes is being pushed in lane seven by Ji Hyung Lu. And the first split goes to Holmes at 26-5-1. Halfway through the race. He'll turn and have the lead. A good full body's length lead on the rest of the field. Holmes will set the time to beat out of this first heat. And that time to beat is at 58-31. Second place goes to you at 1 minute point four nine. Holmes besting his seed time by almost three seconds. 2.7 second difference between his seed time and his preliminary time. Our second heat out of the prelims in the men's 100 yard butterfly will feature a full pool. Dom Smith from Greeley Central in lane two. Miles Coker from Air Academy in lane three. Connor King from Montrose in lane four. Luke Danielson from Air Academy in lane five. Andrew Park from Estes Park in lane six. Andrew Hahn from Broomfield in lane seven. Kyle Bunker from Longmont in eight. And John Sassolino from Wheatridge will round things out in lane nine. Best qualifying time goes to Luke Danielson in Air Academy, 59-5-2. He'll be in lane five. But the three best times separated by a mere 22 one hundredths of a second. They're in four, five, and six. And the swimmers take to the pool for our second heat here in event six. And at the wall, the lead will be held by Luke Danielson from Air Academy. During the halfway point of the race, he's being caught up by Andrew Hahn from Broomfield. Danielson will hold the lead on the turn. 26-32, 26-68 is the second best time by Hahn. Those two have pushed out of the head of the rest of the pack. Still in the lead as they enter the final stretch will be Danielson. Danielson to the wall and he will take the final time at a 58 even 24 100 second ahead of the rest of the pool Luke Danielson will finish first second place went to Andrew Hahn from Broomfield third place went in lane two by one hundredth of a second to Dom Smith edging out Kyle Bunker in lane eight 59-28 versus 59-29 heat three of the preliminaries here in the men's 100 yard butterfly set to take to the pool Paul Rastrelli from Pueblo Centennial will be in lane two Austin Southard from Thompson Valley in lane three Jack Thorne from Thompson Valley in lane four James Grant from Cheyenne Mountain in lane five Taylor Hand from Discovery Canyon in lane six Daniel Liu from Discovery Canyon in lane 7. Theo Wright-Wesner from Coronado in 8. And Brendan in lane 9. Best time coming in from G James Grant. 52.62 seconds. He is a full 1.3 seconds ahead of the rest of the field based on his seed time. 4A state record is 50.14, so... 
Still got some work to do on that one. So the senior takes to the board. For our third heat of these preliminaries. Good get in by Jack Thorne. He's to the wall first. Thorne is pushing James Grant. Also pushing James Grant. Taylor Hand from Discovery Canyon. But Grant's to the wall first. 24-6-6 is his halfway mark. He'll turn and push. They full body's length lead. Second place swimmer is Taylor Hand, but James Grant is going to take this preliminary heat. His final time is 52.36. So he sets the time to beat now at 52.36. Does James Grant from Cheyenne Mountain? Second place goes in lane six to Taylor Hand at 53.81. Every swimmer, except for Brendan Anderson, posted better times than anybody else previously. So you had your top seven times so far in heat three. Heat four now. Ethan Schick from Green Mountain will take to lane two. Matt Holstein from Moffat County in lane three. David Hoffer from Mullen in lane four. Devin Davis from Air Academy in lane five. Swimmer to watch, 51.85 time for him posting. Drew Weibel from Silver Creek in lane six. Chase Liss from Silver Creek in seven. Grant Knorr from Cheyenne Mountain in lane eight. Sam Hennahan from Broomfield in lane nine. Swimmers take to the pool. The lead at the first turn is Devin Davis's of Air Academy. He's extended almost a full body length on the rest of the field in one time down the pool. His first split will be 23.55. He's on pace to beat the previous time set by James Grant at 52-3-6. He'll hit the turn. Well, the final home stretch here. And to the wall, he'll touch it at 51-26. Still a full second off the 4A state record, but good enough for the best time so far. Second place goes in lane six to Drew Weibel from Silver Creek at 52.97. So Devin Davis finishing first here in heat four of the prelims and will now have heat five of the men's 100 yard butterfly. And uh, Parker Signal from Discovery Canyon will be in lane two. Kosha Callahan from Montrose in lane three. Devin Trujillo from the Cyclones in lane four. Martin Wallace from Broomfield in lane five. Chris Wickwire from Mullen in lane six. Jordan Butler from Conifer in seven. Carly Sally, Car Carl Sally, pardon me, from Durango in lane eight. And Troy Holton from Silver Creek in nine. The swimmer to watch is Martin Wallace from Broomfield out of lane five. 51-8-3 is his time. Time to beat 51-26. Final heat of the 100-yard butterfly. Our next event will be the 100-yard freestyle. Swimmers take to their boards. We're neck and neck between Trujillo Wallace and Wickwire. At the first turn, 
Looks to me like the best turn came from Martin Wallace of Broomfield. He edges out, shoulders ahead of the rest of the field. He'll hit the first turn at 24-17. Good turn has put him almost full body length ahead of the rest of the field. Martin Walls will take his final turn toward home. 51-26, the time to beat. Heading into the finals, he's not going to get that, but he will qualify for the finals at 51-75. Eyeballing it, it looks to me like also qualifying for the finals. Out of lane six will be Chris Wickwire at 52.97. James Grant from Cheyenne Mountain also guaranteed a spot. I believe all eight of your qualifiers came from heat three, four, and five. So swimmers set to take to the pool now for the men's 100-yard freestyle. We'll have six seeds, six, six heats. I really do talk for a living. In this preliminary action, C.T. Bossy from Thompson Valley will take lane four in this first heat. Jacob Epstein from Thomas Jefferson will be in lane five. Graham Hilding from Montrose in lane six. And Connor Sullivan from Broomfield in lane seven. Best seed time comes from lane five. Jacob, or Jackson Epstein, 53-27. And the swimmers take to the pool for the 100-yard freestyle. 4A state records, 45-54. Swimmer with the best chance to beat that, Jeff Garnier, Garnier from De Evelyn will be in heat six. Lead has been taken here in this first one by C.D. Bossy from Thompson Valley. He'll hit the wall first at 24-7-2. Halfway through, he continues to push out in front. And he'll hit the wall for the final home stretch home in second place. Will go Graham Hilding. Hilding trying to catch Bozzi. It's going to be at the wall, a great push in lane seven. And the final will be a victory for C.T. Bozzi from Thompson Valley, 52-8-5. But... Connor Sullivan from Broomfield comes in at 52.99. Good way to kick off the men's 100-yard freestyle here at the VMAC in Thornton at the 4A State Swimming on Chancellor.tv. And our next heat of six here in the preliminary of the men's 100-yard freestyle will kick things off with Matt Siddhoff from Greeley Central in lane two, Jacob Moore from Green Mountain in lane three, Anthony Gaginon from Mountain View in lane four, Austin Miller from Durango in lane five, Israel Taylor from Cheyenne Mountain in lane six, Brandon Clark from Wheat Ridge in lane seven, Brett Gentile from Cheyenne Mountain in lane eight, and James Vincent from Discovery Canyon in lane nine. Best time coming in is Austin Miller's 52-61. This is a very even heat. Seed time number one, Austin Miller, 52-61. The worst seed time coming in is James Benson in lane nine, 52-98. So this could be neck and neck all the way as these eight swimmers are separated in their seed time by 37 one hundredths of a second. Swimmers will take to their boards here in the 100-yard freestyle heat two of the preliminaries. And they'll hit the water. Best in looked like it came by Jacob Moore. See who's first at the turn. First at the turn is Brandon Clark from Wheat Ridge. And all the swimmers are separated by not even a half of a body length. Getting what we expected here in this heat number two. Staying in the lead is Brandon Clark, 24-81. He's got a third of a second lead on the rest of the field. The final turn, neck and neck between T. 
Taylor Israel and Brandon Clark in lane six and seven. Whoever's going to get that right timing coming to the end, it looks like the lead is being taken by Israel Taylor. Taylor will hit the wall and take the time, 52-1-7. Second place will go to Austin Miller, 52 six, actually 52-4-4 in lane four. Anthony Gagnon will take that. Third place will go to Austin Miller at 52-6-8. So the time to beat now 52-1-7, set by Taylor Israel. And heat number three will take to the block. Stuart Zweischer from Watson will be in lane two. Alex Prince from Broomfield in lane three. Jeffrey Brunswick from Thompson Valley, lane four. Jared Aragon from Pueblo South in lane five. Alex Fleischman from Gunnison in six. Andrew Essels from Coronado in seven. Carter Goldsvig from Wheat Ridge in eight. And Nick Ruba from Valley in lane nine. Best time coming in is Jared Argon in lane five from 51-4-4. Swimmers take their blocks and are in the field. Best in goes to Jared Aragon. Takes the early lead and he's to the wall first. He's to the wall by a half body length on the rest of the field and his push pushes him out even further ahead. Aragon in lane five will hit the wall at a time of 23-1-4. 24-1-2 up in lane seven by Andrew Essels the second best time. Staying in the lead for the final turn is Jared Aragon from Pueblo South. He's a full body length ahead of the rest of the field. Previous time, 52-1-7. He's going to smash that, finishing with 48-9-1. And posting the time to beat is Jared Aragon. Second place goes into lane four to Jeffrey Brunswick at 50 Point six two. Third place will go in lane seven to Andrew Essels at 50.68. All of those times, with the exception of one, were better than what we'd previously seen. Heat four now takes to the pool for the 100-yard freestyle. Clay Zentmeyer from Montrose will be in lane two. Jack Dangerman from Air Academy in lane three. Hunter Door from Air Academy in four. Tony Huff from Longmont in lane five. Luke Robert from Discovery Canyon in six, Ryan Kurtz from Windsor in seven, Michael Feller from Devlin in eight, and Clayton Denny from Pueblo South in nine. Best time, Tony Huff in lane five on his seed at 47.95. Swimmers will take to the board. And they will take to the pool. Best in may have come on the near side in lane two from Clay Zetmer. But first to the wall will come Littles and, or pardon me, will come Huff and Robert. Lanes five and six. Lead at the first turn is Luke Robert from Discovery Canyon at 22.57. Only had the lead by a quarter of a second at that turn. He's being pushed in lane five by Tony Huff. And those two will turn out a shoulder length above the rest of the field and look to push to the finish. But a great turn on the final push by Tony Huff as he comes to the wall. And he is going to have the race by 12 one hundredths of a second. His time 47.83. With a great final push. Second place will go to... Uh, Luke Robert at 47.95. Five total swimmers broke the 50-second barrier there. Heat 5 now takes to the pool here at the 4A Swimming and Diving Championships in this 100-yard freestyle. Lane 2 will be Connor Dickerson from Cheyenne Mountain. Derek Sloan from Montrose will be in lane 3. Noah Dwine from Thompson Valley will be in lane 4. Jonathan Littles from Cheyenne Mountain will be in lane 5. Forrest Beasley from Esses Park in lane 6. Cody Hoyes from Silver Creek in lane 7. Austin Bullock from Durango in lane 8. And Eric Albers from Coronado in lane 9. 
Best time coming in is Jonathan Littles in lane five, 47-7-1. And the swimmers take to the pool. Best in may very well have come from lane four and Noah Dwyan. But first to the wall will be Jonathan Littles from Cheyenne Mountain. He doesn't get a very good push though and the rest of the field catches up with him. Lead at the first turn, I believe it is indeed going to go in lane six to Forrest Beasley from Esses Park at 23-11. Beasley and Littles will hit the wall almost simultaneously for this final push. Here in heat number five to the wall. Littles is going to overtake and pull the finish at 47-6-5. Second place will go to Beasley at 47-9-8. So Jonathan Littles sets the time to beat. And we bring to our final heat here of the 100-yard freestyle, heat number six of the preliminaries. And David Keller will be in lane two. He's from Discovery Canyon. Jake Sbardo from Devlin will be in lane three. Mitch Kilgore from Conifer in lane four. Jeff Garney, Garner pardon me, from De Evelyn in lane five. Best time, 45-7-3. He is only 19 one-hundredths of a second off the state record with that time. Danny Kay from Coronado will be in lane six. Steve Peak from Coronado in lane seven. Lloyd Michael, or Michael Lloyd, pardon me, from Air Academy in lane eight. And Connor Schlossenbarger from Air Academy will be in lane nine. Ladies and gentlemen, please, right from the start, Madam Jeff Garner will take two. The board having already set one for a state record today. And he'll hit the pool with the rest of the heat for this final preliminary heat. Our next event is the men 500 yard freestyle. First to the wall is Garner. He's got a half body length on the rest of the field. And he'll hit the wall at 22.08. Gets a nice turn for a full body's length lead on the rest of the field. The 4A state record's 45-5-4. It's on pace to beat that if he can finish strong. The state record is 44-6-3. He's out of body and a half length on the rest of the field. He's not going to get either record, but he is going to finish at 45-4-1. He did. He just beat the 4A state record. Second 4A state record he's beat of the evening. Jeff Garner didn't look like he was going to get to the wall in time, had a nice stretch, and beat the previous record set back in 2008 here at the 4A level for the men's 100-yard freestyle. He beat that record by 13 one-hundredths of a second. Second record he's set tonight. And our next event will be the 500-yard freestyle. We will have four preliminary heats. Crowd here at the BMAC just informed of the state record time unofficial at 40 for Jeff Garner from De Evelyn. Second record we've seen broken tonight, and this is the preliminary. What's he going to do tomorrow night in the uh, finals? Because I guarantee you he qualified for both those. There's no question about it. We go from the 100 yard freestyle now to the 500 yard freestyle. This is the one with the gun, right? Okay, we'll, we'll be ready for the gun this time. <laughs> Four preliminaries here of the men's 500-yard freestyle, and we have essentially a full pool across the board for all of these heats. Heat one will feature Storm Wolf of Estes Park in lane two, Ben Essels of Coronado in lane three, Grant Knorr of Cheyenne Mountain in lane four. Jonathan Donauer from Discovery Canyon in lane five. Paul Mills from Windsor in lane six. Isaac Hellard from Conifer in lane seven. And Jake Carmen from Greeley Central in lane eight. Ten-point 
Ten times down and back. I had to do the math there. I had to think for a little bit. As the swimmers take to the pool for our first of the 500 freestyle. State record of this event was set last year by P.J. Wickwire at 4 minutes 33.52 seconds. And the first time through, the lead goes to lane number seven. Isaac Heller from Conifer at 27.90 seconds. There were four swimmers.